There are tons of fantastic worlds in video games, and we have managed to experience hundreds of these over the past few years. Xbox Game Pass provides us with an incredible amount of value, and over 400 plus games are now on the service. It certainly does become difficult finding these awesome worlds to explore. That is why today we will be covering the 20 best open world games on Xbox Game Pass in 2024. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation, and let's dive into these incredible open world games. Coming out of nowhere and instantly establishing itself as one of Game Pass's best open world games, Power World is almost unbelievably good, especially considering it's still in game preview. Pocket Pair aim for the stars by delivering a project that, on paper, appears to spread itself too thin to offer any real depth in one field. However, somehow the 2024 game comes together to create a surprisingly cohesive experience. Now, this is still an early access release that is a work in progress, so anyone who jumps in should expect to encounter a few bugs and issues along the way. Power World runs pretty well for this type of release, but it is still a ways off from completion, so expectations should be kept realistic. That said, the current version has more than enough content to justify a recommendation all on its own, all with the knowledge that the future should come with a stream of new fantastic updates. Playground Games Forza Horizon series has served as a reliable source for ambitious open world racing games, and the fifth entry maintains the high standards synonymous with the license. Set in Mexico, Forza Horizon 5's map is considerably more diverse than its immediate predecessor, with each region having its own aesthetic that allows it to stand out. Like with all of these games, Forza Horizon 5 blends realistic visuals and an authentic world with over-the-top arcade-style gameplay and is a match made in heaven. Playground consistently crafts sandboxes that are just a blast to drive around in, and Forza Horizon 5's map is overflowing with content that caters to both single player and multiplayer preferences. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has long been a definitive staple of the open world catalogue, and it's likely to remain that way until the next chapter of the mainline Elder Scrolls game manifests. Even today, players still wander the snowy tundra, lush forests, and decrepit dungeons of Skyrim in droves, which is no mean feat considering the base game was released back in 2011. If for some reason someone is yet to embark on the epic tale of the Dragonborn, now is as good as time as any. And if they already have, then they can pick up from an extensive selection of mods that are available for Xbox consoles and fabricate a new twist on the familiar venture. Now, in order to make these videos possible, we do sometimes get sponsors for the channel, and today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Now, if you're like me, I love diving into Raid from time to time, and I've easily now been playing Raid for over a couple of years. I'm an El Hain main, and honestly, the character designs in this game are unreal, and the combat has had me hooked since day one. There is currently a free spring hunt going on, where you can win a free games console and over $10,000 in Amazon gift cards. You may be asking me though, how do I enter this awesome competition? Well, there is a spring hunt mini game, and you can go into this by downloading Raid using my link below. Below. Enter your Raid ID and you can join this competition for free. On top of this, Raid are also celebrating Community Weeks for the dedicated amongst us. Everyone can get their hands on a free legendary champion, Chronicler Adeline. And if that's not enough, you can also get 14 days of rewards in total, including a perfect soul. For viewers of my channel, you can use my link below or the QR code on screen now to immediately get a huge starter pack with two epic champions, being Tayra from the High Elves faction, and you'll then get another starter pack after reaching level 25 that includes an epic Rector Drath. These champions are available after downloading via my custom link or QR code. After downloading the game via my link, use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and so much more. It's available for both new and existing players, so make sure to take advantage of this offer. You can come find me under the name Xbox Nation, and you can join my clan Xbox citizens and will be legends together. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all on the battlefield. Now, after a lengthy spell in early access, Grounded has finally made its full debut. A normal backyard becomes
becomes a dangerous sandbox filled with terrifying creatures after players are shrunk down so that blades of grass are towering over them. Finding themselves in a sticky situation as you try to make your way back home, the protagonists must survive this strange land as they adapt to its ecosystem. Grounded is an imaginative open world game that takes inspiration from its contemporaries while still carving out a unique voice that sets it apart from the crowd. Obsidian is responsible for some of the most fully realized worlds in gaming and Grounded is another feather in the developer's cap. Not every person who owns an Xbox Series X and S will gravitate towards Microsoft Flight Simulator, but there are undoubtedly people who will specifically purchase a console to play this flight sim. After spending a year as a PC exclusive, a Sobo Studios project finally made its way to Microsoft's latest hardware, and even a couple of years after its launch. As its title suggests, the game seeks to accurately recreate the experiences of piloting a plane, at least to the point that gaming allows. Essentially, Earth is Microsoft Flight Simulator's open world, and while players might not be able to land and go for a stroll, they can witness the planet's majesty from the skies. Rare's Sea of Thieves had a somewhat rough launch, but the game has improved by leaps and bounds since its debut. Although not devoid of enjoyment for solo players, this title should be experienced alongside a group of mates since so much of Sea of Thieves depends on making the crew making its own fun. As pirates in a vast and gorgeous open world, adventure is constantly at their beck and call. As crews seek to complete trade missions, find buried treasure and survive against a kraken or a ghost ship. Rare regularly release updates for Sea of Thieves that introduces new ways to interact with the sandbox and other players who exist within it. It's certainly a game that I've been playing for many years now, and I can certainly recommend this for any Game Pass subscriber. After existing solely on Steam for roughly two years, Valheim eventually joined Xbox Game Preview Initiative, making it available to all Game Pass subscribers. Regardless of platform, Iron Gate's Viking-themed survival title is nothing short of fantastic. Whilst it's still a work in progress, the current version of it is still relatively robust. In fact, the game in its current state is likely to keep most players entertained for longer than the vast majority of fully released open world projects. Utilising procedurally generated maps, Valheim drops players in a reasonably big open world that is split into different biomes. From there, they must craft weapons and armour that will allow them to survive the various enemies and bosses that populate this world. As a bonus, this title also supports base building and the system is fairly deep as well. Rocksteady's Batman Arkham Trilogy set the benchmark for superhero games, and many would argue it is still the standard bearer. As Arkham Asylum and City are are unfortunately not on Game Pass, newcomers might want to search beyond Microsoft's subscription service to start with the first game. However, Arkham Knight is available on the platform and unsurprisingly, it's fantastic. Bringing to life Gotham City instead of just its prison, Arkham Knight has an atmospheric open world that is still impressive all these years later. Rocksteady did a stunning job of capturing the spirit of the DC comics through its storytelling, environmental design and combat. Whilst Arkham Knight's Batmobile sections are divisive, the vehicle itself controls well, even if it's a might overstay its welcome. When it was first released back in 2016, No Man's Sky was lambasted for its lack of gameplay and unpolished design. Many fans were upset that the release seemed to lack many of the initial promises that were made by the developer. Thankfully, even though it was critically panned during its initial release, designers stuck with the title and continued to improve it as much as possible. Nowadays, No Man's Sky is leaps and bounds better than what it once was. Players can finally get to experience the space epic they had hoped for, and feelings towards No Man's Sky are incredibly positive in recent years. Players that are looking for a fun, in-depth and downright addictive open world should hop onto this now fantastic adventure. Though Fallout 4 may be New Vegas' shinier, newer and slightly better optimised cousin, New Vegas is considered the crown jewel of Fallout 3's dimensional first-person outings for a reason. With Obsidian helming the effort, the role-playing elements that were present in Fallout 3 were polished to a mirror shine that Fallout 4 couldn't seem to pull off. The Mojave Wasteland may look a bit dated by modern-day 
day standards, but the courier's fateful journey after being shot and left for dead still makes for a timelessly wild adventure. Starfield was the biggest title added to Xbox Game Pass in 2023. Bethesda's latest RPG was in development for a very long time, and it was also the developer's first IP in decades. Consequently, the game was always going to be huge, regardless of whether it lived up to the hype or not. Whilst perhaps not attracting Skyrim levels of praise, Starfield is nevertheless an impressive feather in Bethesda's cap, and one that represents a step forward in a few areas. Its character customization, gunplay and companions might just be the best in the company's history, at least when solely counting games developed by Bethesda Game Studios. While it takes a good few hours to get going, it can be largely ignored, and the main story is also pretty good too. Goat Simulator 3 is a fever dream in the best way possible. Taking inspiration from franchises like GTA whilst doing very much its own thing, Coffee Stain's sandbox project strives to deliver unbridled chaos. This should go without saying, but this game does not take itself too seriously, and the campaign sets the tone right out of the gate with a cute nod to Skyrim. After that, players are fairly quickly unleashed in San Angora, an impressively large map that is made to be broken. Unlike the first game, the sequel provides a more curated single-player campaign through the implementation of traditional missions, although their contents are anything but ordinary. As fun as it can be to run around and cause mayhem, Goat Simulator 3 really comes alive live when played with friends. Open world games are synonymous with lengthy campaigns that seem to last forever. Generally speaking, if someone starts one of these projects, they will be ready to commit a few weeks of their lives if not longer. While volume is a major selling point of open world or sandbox experiences, a few games buck this trend and provide brief adventures that can be completed in a single sitting. A short hike is one of those outliers, and the indie project lives up to its title's objective. Cast as Claire, players find themselves in a mountain park, with their only goal being to reach the summit to receive a phone call. Accomplishing this task requires expanding Claire's abilities and finding golden feathers, and in the meantime, Claire can also explore the park and interact with other visitors, be it by taking on a few side quests or engaging in a minigame. Ubisoft's love for open worlds might be a little too much. Overexposure and product exhaustion are very real things, and regardless of the quality of the individual projects, the sheer volume of Ubisoft's open world games in existence has made them feel ordinary. Immortals Phoenix Rising will not impress anyone who is completely burnt out on the Ubisoft formula, but it might hit the spot for fans who want something familiar but still different. Inspired by Greek mythology and taking a few hints from The Legend of Zelda, this action-adventure game blends colourful visuals with fun hack-and-slash combat and a comedic story. Whilst optional content is present, Immortals Phoenix Rising gives players room to decide the extent in which they want to interact with those quests. Insomniac has spent recent years crafting superhero-themed adventures featuring everyone's favourite neighbourhood wall crawler. However, Marvel Spider-Man was not the developer's first foray into the open world territory. Sunset Overdrive might be one of the more underappreciated titles of the 2010s, and the game's brilliant movement system System ranks it amongst the best open world games on Game Pass. Basically, a large playground, Sunset City is filled with rails and zip lines, encouraging players to take to the skies and grind their way above the streets. The gunplay is also fun, particularly once players unlock their full arsenal of weapons. This is easily one of the most underrated Xbox exclusives of all time, and is a certain recommendation from the team here. 2014's The Evil Within sought to fill the horror void left by Resident Resident Evil's descent into action territory, and whilst not perfect, the game did its job. The sequel expands things by taking place in the simulated town of Union, which Sebastian enters to try and save his daughter. While nowhere near as large or packed with side content as for example a Far Cry setting, Union can be freely explored even if Sebastian is genuinely guided down a path. There are not all that many open world horror projects since these types of stories tend to benefit from a more curated experience, but The Evil Within 2 shows the genre can work within a less restrictive structure. Whilst it might not have too much competition, The Evil Within 2 is the best open world horror game on Game Pass. Burnout is an all-round great franchise, and one that produced some of the most entertaining races of the early 2000s. Burnout Paradise 
Vice adapts the series' frantic gameplay to an open world structure, providing players with complete freedom in how they pursue their racing careers. Although small compared to most modern settings, Burnout Paradise's open world is varied and immaculately designed. On these streets, speed is the name of the game, and there are always more than a few crashes along the way. The brilliance of Burnout Paradise's open world becomes apparent once players memorise all the ins and outs of its layout, letting them zip through its roads instinctively rather than following markers. War Tales is quite unlike any other open world project on Game Pass. An RPG with survival elements set in a dark fantasy kingdom that is anything but forgiving. The game avoids giving players too much direction, instead challenging them to make their own way. Players create a mercenary group that must lead their way to success in a world defined by conflict and war. Rather than a traditional story, the campaign is primarily driven by party freedom and choice, and players have to constantly make decisions that could be unpopular within the rest of the group. The survival ingredients arrive in the form of food and payments, both of which need to be made regularly to the mercenaries. War Tales map is expansive and detailed, although it is structured differently than most open worlds. Basically, players will travel across a large open world map that is littered with places like dungeons or villages. The latter is where players can interact with NPCs and pick up contracts, which paves the way to the former and the turn-based battle system. This combat is relatively good and can be fairly difficult at times, but it's definitely addictive and well worth a go. Now, one game that arrived towards the end of 2020 23 and joined Xbox Game Pass is the excellent Far Cry 6. I believe many or most gamers know about the Far Cry franchise by now, and this journey is no different as you're dropped into the world of Yara, which is a tropical paradise that has been frozen in time due to the dictatorship of Anton Castillo. Whilst you play as the main protagonist Danny, who is a local Yaran and is tasked with fighting in the revolution to take down this dictator, you will also have to liberate Yara. It has all the things you can expect in a Far Cry game, from a beautiful open world with dense forests and cities, to a multitude of weapons weapons, vehicles and special abilities all at your fingertips. Personally for me, this was not the best Far Cry story by any means, but the gorgeous world and new weapons were great to play with and around in this new sandbox. Assassin's Creed Valhalla continued the trend set by Assassin's Creed Origins, by creating a massive world with hours upon hours of things to do and choices to make. Some Assassin's Creed fans lamented the shift away from the traditional Assassin's Creed, hence why Assassin's Creed Mirage exists in today's world. It is tough to argue though that Valhalla isn't an impressive game, and definitely one of the best open worlds on Xbox Game Pass. Set in Norway and the British Isles during the Viking Age of the 9th century, Valhalla stars Eivor, a raider who seeks to form a Viking clan, but is swept up in the age-old conflict between the Assassin Brotherhood and the Templars. Valhalla is the long-awaited Viking-era Assassin's Creed game, and its scope, combat and story definitely don't disappoint. What is your favourite open world game on Xbox Game Pass? Let me know down below and let me know if there's any that I've left off of this list. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Xbox content every single week. Whilst here, check out the 20 best Xbox exclusives on Xbox Game Pass in 2024.